Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I'm at the park right now. It's, beautiful. it's a beautiful park here in Vegas, man. It's a nice park. Reminds me of um, reminds me of this park in Japan I used to go to when I was out there. But um, listen, man, I'm just completing a run. I figured I'd get one little nice little video in while I'm at the park. But um. I wanted to just give my quick little thoughts on Bruce Carrington and his recent performance against Bernardo Torres or Bernard Torres, the, the Filipino fighter he fought, South Paul. He was the um, on the undercard of Oshaki versus Nova. You know, I wanted to talk about the performance because, man, Shushu Carrington, he continues to make statements. He continues to show the world why, you know, he is one of the top, most exciting featherweight contenders in the world. You know, this guy Torres... Uh, tough Filipino, I, be I believe he's Filipino. He trains out of Norway. I seen him fight one time. He was he fought um, a Dominican fighter from South Florida named Franchi Fortunato, and he fought him tough. It was a close fight. I think he lost a close decision that fight. And um, I remember like when I was going live talking about this fight, a lot of boxing fans, a lot of boxing degenerates and boxing nerds like myself, they were out here saying that you know this could be a problematic fight for Shushu. A couple people even said he might lose this fight, but not only did he win this fight, he did what we asked young upcoming fighters to do in fights like this against, you know, live bodies, guys that come to win. And that's make a statement. You know, you got a fourth round knockout. And it wasn't just a knockout, it was the execution and it was the process in which he got the knockout because um, in the fourth round, he, he threw like a, it was like an uppercut, straight right hand counter. Um, and he stopped this dude cold. And it's, it's the second time I see Shushu fight, you know, in his last two fights where he's been the aggressive counter puncher and gotten devastating knockouts. He did it this past December against uh, Jason Sanchez. Now he does it against, against Bernardo Torres. And look, I know Shushu don't got a whole lot of fights, but I'm telling y'all, hold on, let me get situated. I'm trying to tell y'all the boxing fans that, you know, it's time to stop looking at Shushu Carrington as a prospect because he's not that. I know he don't got a lot of fights. I know he doesn't. He, he's not as experienced as other guys in the rankings or the champions. But look, he's he's every test, every step up, whether it be gradual or not by top rank, he continues to show why he's one of the most exciting prospects or young fighters in the sport. Getting knockouts, showing boxing skills, showing speed. So a step up fight, like a real big step up fight, I don't think it's out the question for Shushu Carrington because right now, as it stands, he's the number eight ranked contender in the WBO featherweight rankings. If you look a little bit for, uh, um, above him, up there at number six, you got Ruben Villa. If you look at number four, you got Robesi Ramirez. Now, uh, it's expected that Robesi probably winds up going ahead and doing the Rafael Espinosa rematch, which is more than okay because that was a really exciting fight and it was a great fight for boxing and the fans. But, um, you know, that, that, that could be a fight they look into, you know, good crossroads fight to see if Robesi still has it at the at you know at the top level you know against a guy like Shushu and it'd also be a step for Shushu but um the fight I like a lot is definitely the Ruben Villa fight for, for Shushu and, for, and I like it for Ruben Villa as well because you know really and truthfully um I, I've talked to Ruben Villa's team you know shout out Sam Garcia good people where they work hard um they've stated to me in interviews that one of the fights they'd want is the Rafael Espinosa title fight. You know, he holds the WBO belt. So obviously to get that, they'll have to go the WBO route. Some big ass dogs. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, that's a good fight because, you know, Villa, he's gonna move around, he's in a box. He's not a no big puncher. Shushu has developed a style as like an aggressive counter puncher of sorts. So I think that's a great fight for the, for the featherweight division. And I think the winner of that fight should position himself for Espinosa. And look, uh, whether it's Villa, whether it's um, whether it's Villa, whether it's Robesi, I don't give a damn who it is, really. I feel like, and some of y'all may say this is too premature to say, but I'm just telling y'all what I see and what I feel and what I truly believe in my convictions of, in my heart as a boxing fan, which is um, I think Bruce Carrington, fight by fight, knockout by knockout, moment by moment, he's starting to emerge as one of the guys that one inevitably in a way moves at the featherweight, I want to see him fight. Like, 
it's becoming to the point where he's causing too much of a buzz. He's making too much noise. He's too exciting. He can't be ignored. And uh, obviously, look, he's got to beat better opponents than the guys he's been beating. But the guys have been, that he's been beating have been picked by top rank, and they've all been gradual step-ups. And he's shown that he's ready for that top 15, top 10, top 5 caliber fighter. So if he passes those tests, if he continues to do what he's doing, if he continues to show development as a fighter, progress as a fighter, then I don't see any reason why we can't be talking about Shusha Carrington fighting for the world title, not just next year, but, but this year, like the like, like latter part of this year. I don't see why if he gets a title by the end of this year, why he can't be a guy that we look at as a potential um, Naya in a way fight in 2025 when he moves the featherweight, you know? I don't see why we can't bring the monster to Madison Square Garden here in the States, you know, and um, do, a, do a real big event, you know? I'm talking like an event like Nassim Ahmed, Kevin Kelly, like that that type of event, you know? But look, man, as you guys can tell, I'm catching my win. You know, I'm out here running. I'm, I'm running with my boys, Eric Lantis Jr. and Angelo Leo. Obviously, I can't keep up because I, no, I ain't no world-class fighter. But, I, you know, I, I, did, I did what I did. I got, I got about 30 minutes in. I did some dips. Your boy BT is still the American sex symbol. I'm still the untouchable, right? But I had to just come in here, check in with you guys, get my thoughts on... Bruce Carrington's knockout against Bernard, Tor uh, Bernard Torres, where he also, you know, he, he gave a real great rendition of Mike Tyson's I'm the best ever speech. You know, I'm from Nan Claw. There's no one like me. My style's impetuous. You know, he, he did a great job of uh, paying homage to, you know, his fellow Brooklynite, Mike Tyson. And look, I, 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 I've been a Shoo Shoo fan. I've been banging the Shoo Shoo drum for a while. And fight by fight, I, um, I'm just getting more and more excited about watching the fight. So I'm going to leave it at that. You guys let me know what you think. What did you guys make of the. Bernardo Torres um, knockout. What do you think about Shushu potentially fighting, you know, for the world title, if not later this year, early next year? And, and who do you want to see him in that top 10, top 15 fight? Because look, he's number eight in the WBL featherweight rankings. He's number freaking eight. He's not a he's not a prophet anymore. He ain't no, he ain't little Shushu from from Brownsville anymore. He's grown. He's a grown man now. And he's ready for that grown man smoke. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how his career develops. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments down below, down below what you think. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure to subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.